The Greenfield Housing Code requires 24 square metres of private open space, but we provided about seven or eight times that. What we've done here is we've moved the building right to the back of the site so that those outdoor spaces are in the prime location and that really maximises the way that you can use the property. It's actually a lot more livable and in keeping with the way that people live their lifestyles in northern New South Wales. Arca House is located in Skinner's Head, just south of Byron Bay. Taking the client's active lifestyle into account and designing with the subtropical climate that we have here, what we tried to do was design a house that was really focused on outdoor activities. The Greenfield Housing Code asks for a entry feature as part of the elevation. We took that on board and designed a two-storey tower that overlooks the street with a little Juliet balcony. And the materials and the arches set up a language that is then continued throughout the house as you move deeper into the site. Wrapping around this central landscape area is a kind of colonnade of steel columns holding up a collection of roofs so that you can get from the front of the site through the gate and down to the actual interior of the house under cover if it's raining or if it's really sunny. And that colonnade helps define the spaces that are outdoors broken down into those smaller courtyards. Then as you enter into the actual front door of the house, the space expands again into this double height entry. So that volume is really reflecting what you experience when you first arrive to the site, but as an indoors version of itself. The way that the arches reflect the light and create this kind of lovely atmosphere with the way that the light lands on them was something that the clients were really interested in. The house is designed so that the kitchen and dining room are adjacent to the central courtyard. So the experience you get is a collection of layered spaces. It's a great house for entertaining and it becomes one very large volume that can accommodate a lot of people. You can see the full depth of the site through the little TV room alcove and its backyard across to the dining room, to that central lawn, to the covered outdoors area and a little captured front garden. So that's the full 30 metres deep of the property. Around the front of the house, we've used quite a lot of brickwork to create a sense of permanence. The front fence is built with a hit and miss brick pattern that allows you to get glimpses from the street into the house and glimpses from the house out to the park across the road. Outside we've used travertine in a crazy pave arrangement. It gives those spaces quite a luxurious feeling. When we get to the inside on the ground level, we went with honed concrete. It's a very inexpensive finish, hard wearing and able to deal with the fact that the inside and the outside are so close to each other. Moving upstairs, we have oak timber flooring. It's a lot warmer, softer to walk on than the downstairs levels. Tying in with the oak floors, we've typically used oak veneer for all of the cabinet work. We really made the master bedroom a little bit like it would be if it was in a hotel. We combined the ensuite and the bedroom into one larger space. So it really has a spaciousness that you wouldn't normally get in a house this size. I think the Arca House is a good example of what you can achieve on a site almost anywhere. This is just a standard 600 square metre block in a new housing development, but it shows what can happen if you look to making the outdoor spaces as important as the internal ones.